Hang on sale. Hi family. What's good? What's up? What's poppin'? Welcome to another vlog, y'all. Welcome to another vlog. Y'all, so today is Thursday, June the 20th. It's currently 9.33 in the morning. So I am currently in Georgia right now. I haven't filmed anything for the past like few days. I think it's like been two days. So I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown about what happened and all of that. Because honestly, this should have been in my last vlog, but we're not gonna talk about it, okay? We're not gonna talk about it. So my last day at my base and in my house was on Tuesday. Tuesday, which was June the 18th also June 18th was my son's fourth birthday so I have so much going on I had to final out from that base and also pack all the rest of my stuff out of the house so that I could do my final inspection so honestly I was so overwhelmed that day I had a lot going on I was very frustrated with so many things so I didn't finish my final inspection for my house until like 6 p.m. I had to travel to Atlanta all on that same night because my mom and I were supposed to be going to go to see my grandma which we are at her house right now but I'm gonna get there uh, so we went to Atlanta and stayed with Keisha for one night and then drove the rest of the way to my grandma's house this is where I was born baby this is the roots okay you know it's about like four hours plus from Atlanta so we just decided to stay the night when I was driving to Atlanta I didn't get there till like 1 30 in the morning so I was so exhausted I was so so, so, so exhausted. I don't even know how I made it to Atlanta. I was so sleepy behind that wheel, but baby, we made it. You know what I'm saying? I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, and I made it, okay? We got here yesterday, and we were trying to get situated and all that, so I didn't vlog yesterday either. So I apologize about that, but I gave you guys a little rundown over the past two days so that we can just pick up where we left off, okay? We can go ahead and start this new vlog. So for today, we are supposed to be going to the beach. So I need to actually get situated. I'm sorry, I look a hot mess, baby. I just woke up, okay? I look a hot mess. Just let me go in the house and get ready and get dressed and stuff. And then I'll get back with y'all after we all are situated and in the car. Good afternoon, y'all. So today is Friday, June 21st. It is currently 2.42 in the afternoon. So last time I saw us, y'all, we were supposed to be going to the beach and doing all this stuff or whatever. So that didn't happen. We did not go to the beach. Um, we did go into town and we went and did a little shopping, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But it was so sporadic and all over the place that I didn't pick up the camera. But today is a new day, okay? We starting over today, okay? I got my mom my siblings and my son with me we're currently in home right now and my grandma and my auntie we're all supposed to be meeting up we're gonna go to the beach here shortly but we're gonna go do a little shopping first before we go to the beach so that's why i look kind of crazy i got this big behind shirt on because i have my baby suit under it hey vlog hello vlog <laughs> i love this bowl for like a salad bowl or something like that this is so cute on this one. but the type of wood that's in my house like the type of what color that I like in my house is actually a lighter wood than this. Um, like this for an example. Like this this type of color wood. So I couldn't get that one. Mama, where are you? Look, I wish I had right here, baby. Look. Ooh, I love this. Let's go good in a bathroom. Like in my original house that you know I just moved out of. This would have been cute in like the corner of it because I had needed to figure out what to do with that space right there, but shoot. It's so hard to go into any home decor store knowing that I shouldn't be shopping for any home decor because I'm going to South Korea. Like there's a reason why I have been avoiding going to any home decor store. I've been wanting to get Rambo a better bed. These are so cute and comfy. But Keisha said that he will not like laying in. He loves just laying in the bed with us and cuddling in between us so he wouldn't sleep in these. I love this. It's a cute big statement piece. So cute. Since I'm in the store, I'm gonna tell y'all my theme of my house and stuff like that. So I love neutral colors like I think it's like the typical minimal style that everybody's doing right now. I really love it because it's clean. I don't do it because of everybody else do it. I do it because I love it and it's clean looking. Okay. So I love black, white, beige with greenery plants. You know what I'm saying? I put an example right here. 
so you guys know what I'm talking about like what kind of scheme I'll be looking for but I really really love it because I love decorating for like fall and for like Christmas and things of that nature so it's very easy to find pieces to go with whatever I'm doing for that season because I have a very neutral background you know what I'm saying I love making a house a home I love being a mom I love you know being a girlfriend like wife doing wifely duties you know what I'm saying that makes me happy so so i can't wait to come back from south korea and show you guys like my homey wifely duty motherly side on this channel because i swear i feel like i've been just going out a lot lately and meeting up with friends and doing all this other stuff like having my fun moments before i go to south korea so i'm excited for you guys to see like the motherly wifely side of me when i come back you know what i'm saying back 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 it up back 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 it up Back, back it up, putting back, back, back it up. O M G, y'all. It's the end of June, about to be July, and they got the fall stuff out. Okay, when I tell y'all I'm so happy, I mean that because I love, 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 love Hobby Lobby for fall and for Christmas stuff. Like I love, love, love it. They already started putting out Christmas stuff over this way. For Christmas in July and stuff like that but the bad thing is because the fall stuff is out early they don't have any sales going on for the fall decor yet I will not be getting that right now because within like the next two months it's gonna be like 50% off or something like that so no not because last year for fall I was deployed and this year for fall I'm gonna be in Korea so that sucks you know what I'm saying because I can't really decorate my whole entire house for fall like I normally do or do the fall scents and all of that so I'm upset about that but it's gonna be all worth it when I come back because when I come back literally fall will be right around the corner so Ooh, look how big this pumpkin is this pumpkin is huge this is an outside pumpkin like a pumpkin you put on your porch and the aisles smell like that cinnamon autumn scents and smells like oh it brings me so much comfort i love fall fall is so cozy and comfortable when you snuggle like mm, i love fall oh they even got on oh, my first season that's so cute oh lord let me not have baby fever here what's your juice mama oh, your tablet mama my camera yeah you see the camera say cheese, cheese. Mm -hmm. i love you i'm gonna grab it no, we gotta keep it right there. You like Christmas? You like the Grinch. You have the Grinch. Oh, you're so smart. You know who the Grinch is. I didn't know you knew that. You gonna show the camera? Mm -hmm. Show the camera. Who's that camera? Grinch. The Grinch, that's right. Oh, I love this. Yeah, it's oh, so this pretty. is so pretty. I like it. Yeah, it's from Fairfo. All right, y'all, so it's a couple hours later. Currently, it is 7.56 at night. And so, as y'all can see, we did not go to the beach, baby. I don't know, we keep planning to go to the beach. We ain't went to the beach, okay? I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I'm not pressed about it. I'm not upset about it or anything like that. Cause I'm really exhausted from just traveling and doing so much these past few days that it doesn't matter to me what we do, you know what I'm saying? I'm just here and I just love spending time with my family. That's all I need, okay? I just had to show y'all this real quick because I'm on the phone with Keisha. We talking, we chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm about to edit my latest vlog so I can have it out on Sunday. But my auntie got me some of these. If y'all don't know what these are, baby, these are pickled eggs, okay? So every time I come home in the country, I always want pickled eggs. And they used to sell them in the corner stores, like up the road and stuff like that when I was a kid, but they don't sell them anymore. So I was trying to figure out how to get some of these. My auntie said, oh, I got the hookup for the hookup, okay? And she got me some pickled eggs. There's a local uh, lady that makes these pickled eggs or whatever. And she got them for me. And I'm so appreciative. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. It's got like uh, jalapenos, pepper, onions. It's supposed to be um, spicy, baby. It's gonna be spicy. 
and I like the white pickled eggs, not the pink ones, okay? It has to be the white one. So when you pull it out, it's going to be white. It don't look like it's going to be because of the brine around the eggs. But baby, it's going to be white. I'm about to prop you guys up and we're going to try these pickled eggs together, okay? Ooh, they are so strong. It need to sit in the brine a little bit longer. Like it's, it, it's got spices and stuff on it, but you can't, it's not spicy. I like for it to have a strong vinegary taste. Y'all, when I eat boiled eggs, I do not like the yolk. I'll eat scrambled eggs. But when I have boiled eggs, I don't eat the yolk. This cake is so cute. Look at it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cameron. Happy birthday to you. All right, y'all. So today is Sunday, June 23rd. It is currently 9.23 at night. So we left my grandma's house. I haven't talked to y'all since I've been in my grandma's house. Um, so we never went to the beach. We never did really anything we were planning to do. Okay, so I didn't film really much of anything when I was back home at all because I didn't do anything really. I filmed what I could and I did what I could do and that's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just didn't do much. After I finished like trying like my pickle days or whatever with y'all, I did my auntie's hair and I lasted until like 11 p.m. And then I went to sleep, we got up and we got on the road to come to Atlanta so I could come back here with Keisha. So my mom and my siblings and my son are going back to Tennessee tomorrow morning around like 3, 4 a.m. And then I'm going to be staying here for the week with Keisha to be doing a wrap. And then I will be going to Tennessee next week for the week of 4th of July to spend the 4th of July with them before I fly out to Korea next Sunday. Right now, I just finished cooking Sunday dinner. And I'm gonna show you guys what I made before I dip it up. So we have macaroni and cheese, hot roast with potatoes and carrots, candy yams on the stove. Normally I make this in the oven, but we're on time for it, so you know I had to do what I do. This is cabbage with um, peppers, bacon, onion, garlic, and then we made some honey cornbread muffins with uh, honey butter um, that I put on top. I put little holes into the muffins and then I put the honey butter on top. So I'm about to dip it up for everybody so we can eat because we all starving. Then you guys seen that Keisha got Cameron this birthday cake. It turned out so well and I'm going to get all the information for you guys in the description box below if you guys are looking to try to get a cake done for a special occasion. Turned out amazing. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I will also put my inspiration picture on the screen. Actually better than the inspiration picture. Like it turned out so, 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 so well. I'm trying my best to vlog as much as I can even though nothing's going as planned in this vlog, okay? Um, but yeah, let me dip up this food for everybody real quick so we can pray and eat because it's really late. We should not be eating this later, okay? Wait till everybody sit down before you eat, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Likeies, what's up? <laughs> oh, looks like it is some real ludicrous fans out here.
Record this video of me. I'm gonna act like I'm talking and you just move around me and stuff like that. Okay, just go ahead. Go ahead. Get the strawberry one. Look that one. All right, my Leah baby. So today is Friday, July the 19th. And so currently it is 1.09 in the afternoon. So I have a lot of catching up to do with you guys. I have been filming, but not really so much talking because I've been just on go, go, go. So right now I'm about to give you guys a rundown of how things have been, what's been going on and what to expect um, in the rest of this video as well as the next upcoming video. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, any of my other social medias besides YouTube. If you're not, baby, go ahead and follow me, okay? So you can stay updated. So if you guys are not following me on my other platforms, then you guys would not know this. On June 27th, I lost my 15 year old baby sister. Her passing was very unexpected and it was so all of a sudden abrupt like we were so stunned we were so taken aback by our loss of our baby she is the baby of our family she is the youngest sibling it was so hard like it was so hard on my family did want to talk to you guys about this previously before the 4th of July carnival you guys should have seen that prior to coming to this point and I just did not have the time to sit down and talk to you guys about everything it was a lot okay it was a lot going on in a short amount of time as you guys know I was supposed to leave for South Korea and that was going to be on that next Saturday but then when my sister passed away um, I extended my time so I'm actually gonna be leaving tomorrow for South Korea now but we're gonna get there okay it was a lot going Going on we had to plan the funeral unexpectedly and we had to do a GoFundMe for my sister thank you to everybody who donated for my sister's funeral we are so so grateful because of all of you we were able to give her a nice funeral we actually had a lot of people donate it was a lot of money that we had to raise in a short amount of time but because of each and every one of you we were able to do that so thank you thank you 
thank you from the bottom of our hearts the tucker family is very grateful for each and every one of you like we were so so happy like our hearts were so full because we were able to give my sister the funeral that she deserves and we could not have done it without all of you so thank you guys so 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 much i didn't film any of the funeral because it was a very private family moment and i didn't want to take away from um our mourning and our grieving that we were going through during my sister's funeral however i did film when we went to go visit her one last time before we left georgia so i will make sure that i put it in this uh, video so you guys can see that See, like her flowers and everything her wreath that we made we made a wreath for her and we left Georgia and ever since then we've been having a hard time still we think about her every single day and I know it's going to take a while for us to be able to have some type of normalcy in our family however it's never going to be the same we lost a member of our family who brought so much light and joy to us and she was gone way too soon so we are trying to find ways to cope with it and trying to you know get through each and every day uh, as best as we can that's why i haven't been editing and filming as much over the past few weeks because i've been so focused on my family and us trying to get through my sister's funeral and things of that nature i'm grateful for my leah babies who understood and was staying by my side through the entire thing i've had a couple of you guys reach out to me and say your condolences so i'm so grateful for you guys thank you guys for being understanding and giving me all your prayers and kind words i'm so grateful for all my leah babies you guys are amazing so now i have rebooked my tickets and everything like that so i am I'm leaving early in the morning to go to South Korea and you guys will see that in my next vlog my next vlog will be my traveling and my first week in South Korea so guys stay tuned for that because I will be filming every second of that okay right now I'm going to lunch with Sapphire because I wanted to spend some time with her before I went to South Korea let me go ahead and get on the road y'all because I really don't have time to be talking I need to go so I will get back with you guys when I arrive at the Mexican restaurant Job. So I got the carne asada. This is steak. I'm sure this is like a tortilla or something. I got double rice and then all the little big things and stuff like that that you eat on the side. And then Sapphire got seafood rice, right? It's me. Okay. It looks good, girl. I like that sauce. It's giving hibachi. <laughs> Cold stone because she always gotta get some tea every time we finish eating. Nothing new. But cold stone is good. Video call me, girl. You ain't gonna uh, read no letter. Is it well? I read your letters and I even wrote you one. Oh, I'll see you when I come back from Korea. Yes, ma'am. I'll be here. I love you, girl. Oh, girl. Oh. Oh, get to Nashville. Come. All right, y'all. So currently it is 10:54 at night. So I just finished packing, taking a shower, brushing my teeth. You know, all the things to get ready so I can go to bed. There's one of my suitcases, and then the other one is by the door. But this is my main one that has like like the majority of my clothes in it. And the other one has like my uniforms and stuff in it. And then right here is my carry-on bag. It's a huge backpack. It has way more space than I actually need. But you never know. You know what I'm saying? So I just took my big heavy-duty military backpack. All my electronic devices and everything that I would need to vlog and edit and all that stuff. So that's in this backpack here. I do have to get up at 3.30 because I have to be at the airport by like 5, 5.30-ish because my flight is at 7 a.m. Wanna make sure that I make it on time and I don't miss this flight. 
okay because i can't i can't miss it i can't afford to miss it so on my military backpack i put my sister's kirby pin i didn't tell you guys this earlier but my sister's funeral theme was pink and white and kirby theme because she really loved kirby she was obsessed with kirby she has a gazillion kirby's in her bedroom and so we all decided to wear kirby pins and i had kirby earrings and everything so i decided to pin my kirby pin from her funeral onto my backpack so i can take her with me to south korea and it'll just help ease my mind a little bit to know that you know what i'm saying i have a piece of her with me and then one last thing that i wanted to show you guys one last thing so keisha got me this blanket if you guys follow me on instagram then you guys seen this blanket already because i posted it she got me this blanket to take with me to korea and this is how it looks it's pictures of me her rambo cameron and our family and friends it's the most perfect and thoughtful gift like when i tell y'all this is gonna help me get through korea okay because you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna miss everybody i'm gonna miss my family i'm gonna miss my friends I'm gonna miss my baby. And my baby always watches all my videos. So baby, I love you. This is such an amazing gift. And I appreciate you. It'll keep me warm during the winter months in Korea, okay? So cute. So yeah, y'all. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to say goodnight to my brother and my sister. And I'm gonna put Cameron down to go to sleep with me because we all have to get up early in the morning to drive to Nashville. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i feel like this vlog was very long because a lot has happened in this vlog if you guys made it to the end comment down some white hearts down below because i know you an og that you made it to the end okay so that is it for today's vlog guys i hope you guys enjoyed i know it was all over the place there was a lot of days that kind of got collected together to make this vlog but like i said a lot has happened a lot has been going on and i just wanted to put this vlog out there for you guys with whatever content i had whatever videos i had so that i can go ahead and put a video out for y'all there was still some good things and good moments in here okay you know what i'm saying like there was still good times and don't forget guys i love you guys so so much my small little family and i'll see you guys in my next video bye mm -mm. Mm -mm.